Hi. Oh God, I don't know what to say. It's been so long since I've introed a video like this. I feel like I do a video like this like once in a blue moon. I haven't figured out my like intro that I want to do. Hi, I'm Peach. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna be washing some wigs today. Before we get started, I just wanna give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is actually Shein. Crazy, crazy. They reached out to me and wanted to send me some wigs. And you know me, I love wigs. So I wanted to show you guys, style them. I actually have three wigs, three, to show you guys. And I'm really excited about this middle one right here. This wig is honestly the reason that I took this like a little collab. I've never seen this wig before anywhere and I look at wigs often so I wanted to get it and see if I like the quality because I love the color. Love the color. They're not like the most expensive crazy wigs, lace front wigs that you can buy. I didn't get any lace front wigs. I don't personally wear a lot of lace front wigs. I like to have bangs when I wear wigs so all of these do have bangs. And they're not lace fronts. Um, so we're going to wash them first, hence why we're in my bathroom. And I also have another wig that I have to wash. We're also going to be washing this half black and half red wig. It's just been sitting for a second. I want to wash it before I list it on my Depop. And find other wigs. I've been going through my things. I'm saving up for something in the summer or trying to save up for something in the summertime. That's like a really big, important life change. Don't want to go too much into it, but know that it's going to be big and it's important and I need money. So please um, check out my Depop, shop my closet. I have wigs, ears, clothes, accessories. So much, so much. So yeah, I'm going to wash this and this is going to get listed. I'm going to wash these. And we're going to style those and create outfits with them. So if you want to see my updated wig washing routine, because I did change it, it is a little bit different. Um, my whole like wig styling and washing routine is a bit different than the... I think that was actually my first video that I ever posted on this YouTube channel was a wig video. So it's fitting. Wow. Um, but it did change up a little bit and I want to take you guys with me while I wash all the wigs. Before I actually wash the wigs, I want to show you what they look like coming out of the packages. So we're going to do a little unboxing really fast. Here is the pink wig, the one that I'm like the most excited for. It is pink and red highlights. Stop. This is so cute. This wig is stunning it is beautiful it is exactly what i imagined it was going to be oh the highlights are so pretty it's so soft god those highlights can i don't even think you can see just like in this light how pretty this is oh i'm so excited I'm so excited. I'll insert clips of all of the wigs on my little mannequin head so you can see. And I especially like how the bangs are before we style them. You can see how long they are. I definitely trim all of my bangs on all of my wigs because they are way too long. I don't like them to be in my eyes. I like more of a above my eyebrow, a little bit more of a micro bang-esque look. This next one I'm also super excited for. It is black and green. It's like this like sea foam green with like darker green. Oh, the gradient is so beautiful. Stop. Oh, and I love that it's a shorter wig. Cute, so we have a shorter green and black wig. Oh, with the little black bang in the front too. This is so cute. I love this color. It is like a sea foam color, um, but there's green 
little bits throughout it. I genuinely, I don't think that the camera is going to do it justice. Because it really is just so... It's beautiful. I love this color. I don't, actually don't think I have a wig in this color either. So, this is exciting. And then the last wig that I have to show y'all from Shein is this beautiful like black and silver wig. It's like this chocolatey browny black which I love with a silvery white gray. Ugh, I love this color combination. It's so staticky. Oh, that's just where I live. That's just where I live. But I love this color combination. This is so fucking cute. It's like normal colored, but also not. Like you wouldn't see this color combination often or like color blocking often. And I have another brown and gray wig, kind of similar, but like shorter. So it's kind of cool now that I have like a longer version of it. Thank you again to Shein for sponsoring this video and sending me these lovely wigs. I'm not being paid, but they did send me the lovely wigs, which is wonderful. Let's go wash and style. But to wash my wigs, honestly, this first part, not much has changed from the first video. I use the Brandy Wine synthetic shampoo and conditioner. This is the best thing for washing synthetic wigs because these are all synthetic. Okay, so not gonna lie, it's been a few days. I've been having a time. I've been having a time. But we're finally here to style the wigs. I'm styling two out of the three because technically I already styled one of them because I wanted to wear it out on a little lunch date that I went on with a couple friends. Um, I did make a TikTok, you can find that. Here, on my TikTok want to see how I cut and styled this wig specifically you can watch that TikTok but it was so cute I loved it so much I got lots of compliments when I wore it so it's beautiful like look at all the different shades like you can really see now all of the different shades of green and blue that just make this look more realistic this is the wig I'm gonna be cutting first it has been washed. I haven't done anything but brush it and let it just air dry. I did not steam it because I don't want the waves to come out of this one. But as you can also see, all of the different shades that make this look more natural. I love that. I love that so much. It's good. It's real good. I'm sad. My hair looks so good today. It looks so good today. It looks so good today. So we're just gonna take a second to appreciate it. 
before I have to go and braid it and put it in a wig cap. <sighs> <laughs> I feel rather normy in this wig. Like I know it's still like a weird colored wig because it's like white and blackish brown and it's like weird highlighty whatever. But I feel like this is what this is what this is what the I'm <sighs> for saying something like that. Oh my god, people are gonna hate me. I'm joking. It's all jokes. It's kind of jokes, actually. If, if, I grew up in small town Texas, and this is the type of hair that those girls would have when they do want to feel a little bit edgy. The waves and all, man. The waves and all. <laughs> We're gonna cut these bangs, even though, oh god, they're like in my, how do people do bangs in their eyes like that? It hurts. It hurts. I don't think I'm gonna cut too much of the bang, though. I think I'm just gonna cut these, like, middle pieces. Not these, like, longer fringe pieces, because I like those a lot. Okay. What we got? What we got? All right. This, like tiny piece of baying. I don't want this one. Okay. So we're just gonna cut this like tiny piece. You see how it's like in my eyes? I don't want it in my eyes. I think that's really annoying. Oh god. I'm gonna reach behind the camera and grab my scissors. So these are just some haircutting, <laughs> haircutting shears. Just normal ones. I don't know. I'm just gonna do a little and see where that puts them. Okay, actually that might have been good. Hold up, that might have been good. This is one of those really nice wigs that honestly doesn't need a lot of styling depending on who you are. I just don't like my bangs to be so long into my face. I do a lot of micro bangs. So, stop, that's cute. That's cute, that's real cute. They're too choppy now though, so. I'm kinda just using the tip of my scissors. I'm kind of just, I don't know what this does. Um, I went to beauty school, yeah, but I'm, a, I'm an esthetician. I'm not a cosmetologist. I did not go for hair. I just cut hair based off of, ooh, be careful, um, doing this on your face. A lot of people do this on a mannequin head, but uh, for, Bangs specifically, I like to cut it on my face because uh, then I can see what I'm doing. Like, on my face shape. And this is really cute. Anyways, I only know what I'm doing based off of what I've seen and watched over the years. I've been cutting my hair since I was in the middle school and I was a scene kid. And y'all know how that goes. The scene days. What is happening with this? Are they sign things? Is that what we're doing with this? I don't want that. I don't want that. And 
this is another reason why people cut it on the wig heads. Because these like little tiny hairs are awful. And I'm so afraid of like getting one in my eye. I think that's the bang. Those are cute. Barely any styling. We'll do a little, I, I, I typically like try to tuck my wigs behind my ears. Have like a little ear moment. Get a little black fringy moment. This is cute. I could see how I could style this as like a elf wig too. Just imagine like cute little elf ears. <sighs> okay, I love this wig. I love this wig a lot. And while it might feel more natural than like some of my other wigs, I think it's very cute and I'm gonna wear it often. <gasps> oh, I'm actually not done styling this wig. I need to put silicone spray in it. This is the silicone spray that I use. And it just helps with silicone wigs specifically. Silicone spray will help stop them from tangling as badly. So I like to just spray some of it, especially on the ends and the back. Because that's where it gets tangled the worst. And then we'll just brush it through. You see how easy that like just glides? Wow. Yeah, see the back gets tangly of any wig so fast for me because I move around a lot. And this really helps with the tangling of the back of the wigs specifically. The back and the ends. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this wig. Okay, on to my favorite wig. Literally the reason that I did this little collab, the reason that I did this collab is for this next wig. So I'm very excited to style it. <laughs> okay, ignore that I'm an egg right now, okay? Focus on the beautiful wig. Look. Now you guys can really see just all the colors, those highlights, the highlights. That's stunning. It is stunning. When I think of raspberry soda hair, because glass animals, it's a glass animal lyric, this is what I imagine now. This is raspberry soda hair. And I'm so excited, so excited. I will say, out of all three of the wigs that I got from Shein, this wig does shed the most, which is a little unfortunate, but I still think it is worth it. I don't have any wigs that are as beautifully highlighted as this, especially for synthetic and as like affordably priced as they are. I expect them to shed just a tiny bit, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It's beautiful. It's soft. Let's cut the bangs. Let's see it on. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I didn't show what the inside of the wig cap looks like, and I know that people are interested in that. So this is the inside. There aren't any of those, like, clips in it, but I don't have an issue with these wigs staying on my head. Sometimes they're actually too tight. can be overstimulating. I only, I'm just fixing that, I only hook on one hook and I typically hook it on to this like first little latch, but that's all I have to do typically to keep the wigs on my head. <laughs> oh my fucking god, y'all. Oh my god, the color. Oh, the color. Wow. 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 That's all I can say. This hair is stunning. St 
stunning. Okay, we gotta cut these bangs. They are so long, they are so in my face, and because the wig is so straight, it's like real intense. I'm trying to separate all these like smaller bits from the longer bits. Okay, let's just get it done. Okay, so these are a little bang pieces. We got some of these longer ones up here that I might try to keep. Let's see. I might have to actually pin this. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, y'all. I bumped you. Excuse me. I didn't bump you this time. Okay. This is the bang that I'm cutting. I'm gonna start here. It's basically gonna be the same process. These wigs are relatively easy to style, and there's already some bang. And I just really go in. All right, I actually, Oh my god, please be careful, you'll stab yourself. This hair is also giving strawberry shortcake vibes. And do you know what that means? <laughs> yes, you do. You know what that means. And if you don't, then you're really new here. Oh man, I really did like Please be careful while using scissors so close to your face. Oh my god, I could have poked out my eye just then. And now I just have the strawberry shortcake theme songs in my head. Straw-ba-ba-ba-berry. Straw-ba-ba-ba-berry. Straw-ba-ba-ba-berry shortcake. So I think I might add some like, I know I said we're basically going to do the same thing as the last wig, but I'm going to add some like face framing pieces because it's so, it just goes bangs straight and I don't particularly like that. That's how I cut face framing pieces. I just go, take the chunk, and I go at an angle down. Ah! See, that's already so much cuter than the other side. Already. Already. Like, look at that. So much nicer already. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. We gotta do the other side. And then I'm gonna take my little mini flat iron. Look how small this is. It's so tiny. Don't look too close, it's kinda gross. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna fix these bones more. This side is always so much harder for me to do. And I don't, I don't know why. I see it's so much harder and then it's cutting so much easier. Wow. This is why I make these little videos 
and stuff because I see people sometimes new to wigs just like pulling it straight out of the package and plopping it on your head and sometimes sometimes that's okay like you saw with that last wig that I barely had to do any styling to make it look pretty natural but this one we're just doing a little bit extra barely any extra though like you saw how easy that was for me to just slice like that crazy so this is about where I'm wanting it we got some choppy layers up front just to give it more style more bounce and I tuck it behind my ear helps gives it more flow more fright face framing oh my god and now I'm just gonna use my flat iron and kind of curl my bangs in like that and then I'm just gonna spray again with the same silicone spray and brush it through I also want to do a quick weft check in the back to see because his hair is a bit thinner a bit thinner than some of my other wigs and it is really straight so that's the whole video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this like new way that i style my wigs i did say in my first wig video that i made on here that i wanted to try this little silicone spray and i'm very happy with it obviously i've used quite a bit on my wigs now and it is definitely helping keep the quality of my synthetic wigs a lot nicer especially for the more affordable ones I know that we uh, don't have money to be spending like crazy on wigs, you know? We still want to look good, have our hair looking good for, 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 for a little bit of a lower price, and this is, this is a great way to do it. Thank you so much again, Sheen, for sponsoring this video and sending me these wigs. I love them all. Ah, I'm so excited. If you guys want to see how I style these, like, full outfits... I will have another TikTok coming up later this weekend, so keep your eye out for that. And make sure you follow me over on TikTok. Also, make sure you're following me on all my other social media, please. I post literally everywhere. I am so active everywhere. I also have been Twitch streaming this year very consistently. I have a Twitch schedule. I stream on Twitch every Sunday and a Wednesday. I do DJ streams as well as video gaming streams sometimes now. More recently, I've been kind of low on my mixing front and playing video games has been a lot more fun and engaging. I get to talk with you guys a little bit easier. So it's been cool. But every Sunday and Wednesday, you can catch me on Twitch. You can catch me everywhere else, any other time of the week. Here are all my socials. Thank you so much for watching this and make sure you are also subscribed here. I hope you guys have a lovely day or night wherever you're at. I will see you in the next one. Bye.